hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be upcycling this maroon velvet dress but firstly i want to say thanks to all of you who've been commenting who've been liking my videos and most especially i want to say welcome to my new subscribers i got like 10 new subscribers last week and i'm very glad that people are like seeing what i'm doing and are interested in what i'm doing so i said thanks to all of my new subscribers and thanks to all of you who've been here on this channel thanks for the support thanks for always stopping by to see what i have posted so now let's get to the dress this dress is not bad the way it is it's actually beautiful i love how it is but it's summer and i don't have any occasion to wear this dress on so i said why not upcycle it and turn it into something more summer appropriate so yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing here today firstly i'm gonna start out by detaching the dress as always getting the sleeve out uh detaching the skirt and the blouse and i'm gonna go ahead and cut out my pieces that i need and get rid of the pieces that i don't need For this step, I will be using this old back piece to cut out four extra pieces and these extra pieces going to be used for the current back of the dress. <music>
is the hem of the previous dress so what i did i just cut out the piece and i'm gonna be using this for the dress scrap i will just sew the raw edges as you can see what i'm doing right now and i'm just gonna use it for the scrap of the dress instead of cutting all extra pieces now i cut out extra scrap which i'm gonna be using for uh the loophole where i supposed to put in the scrap
support at the back i decided to add elastic to the wigs the waist of the skirt but only to the back now i am going to use zigzag stitch to sew the elastic so that it can stretch freely and also since i'm using stretchy fabric it's important that i use the zigzag stitch i didn't say earlier but i've been using zigzag stitch all through because i still want to have the fabric stretching freely After I'm done um, sewing the skirt both sides, I will be adding the elastic. So this is the center back of the skirt. I'm going to add the elastic and scratch the elastic as I sew using the zigzag stitch like I said earlier. So I kept on holding the elastic so that I can have more volume at the back and to everywhere I put the elastic. I will be using this seam metal for the two side seams because I'm also adding elastic on both uh, left and right side seams of the skirt. And after I have done adding the elastic on the three sides that I want the elastic to be, I'm going to move on to hemming the skirt, which is the last step in this entire process. <music> The final look of the two piece i love it i love how it fit to my body so neatly and the maroon is maroon and the back is backing guys like look at the back of the dress the back is actually my favorite part in this two piece i'm not saying the front is not cute though but you know the back is giving me that hot girl summer and that was the entire goal of this process so tell me what you think in the comment section thanks for watching if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please consider doing that i would really appreciate you leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think